Welcome to the tasting room. I just thought I'd share something with you. We always do this segment as the last segment of the entire show. It makes me have to hustle through the rest because this is my favorite. And today, oh, I've got some big beers to share with you. And I love big beers. Our first one is from Dogfish Head Brewery. Now, Yes, last show we did a dogfish also. I didn't pick it out because it was dogfish. I picked it out because this is such a cool beer. The Midas Touch. The name comes from King Midas. Found the, the, the components of this beer were found in vessels in his tomb in Turkey. This date back over 2,700 years ago. I'm excited. The other thing, 9% alcohol and 16 IBUs, International Bittering Units. So, let's get started. I don't know, I'm already starting to want to drool. A gorgeous, gorgeous pale ale. Oh my! Just take a look at how pretty that beer is. And it already, the aroma is already hitting me from, I haven't, mmm. Okay, I can feel myself getting ready to drool. This smells magnificent. It looks gorgeous and now, mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, this has got a flavor explosion in the mouth, and that's the best way I can describe it. Literally, a flavor explosion. It's more than just malts and hop. This has got a almost a, a berry kind of taste or a slight fruity taste to it. It's delicious. It's very refreshing. And 9% alcohol, how sweet is that? Mm. Oh, this is, <laughs> yeah, the Midas touch hits it right on. <laughs> I'm going to give it at least three thumbs up. I may have to go three and a half. That is really good. Well, our next beer is Old Stock from North Coast Brewing. Now, I've also tasted some North Coast Brewing beers in the past. Old Rasputin uh, is one of them. I really like their beers. Their brewery is delightful. It's in a little town of, uh, outside of Mendocino, known as Fort Bragg, right on the Mendocino coast, which is a gorgeous area to go visit. So if you're ever in Northern California on the coast, you might want to stop by and see them. They do some really nice beers. Now this beer, is 12 and a half percent alcohol with a 35 IBU, the International Bittering Unit. You may be wondering, why am I saying IBU, International Bittering Unit? I've been yelled at by a few viewers because they didn't know what that term was. So we're just putting it out there for you. But let's get into this beer. Okay. Little darker, more of a what I would call a beautiful amber ale. Lovely head. Mm. Okay, there's just times that the aromas can be so alluring, so exciting, you can't wait to taste it. And this is one of those. The hops are just wonderful. Now this is a, they call their old stock ale. This stuff can sit around for years and just gain in its ability to satisfy a magnificent taste, particularly if you like big beers. So let's give it a taste. Oh, okay, oh, oh my. <laughs> We're back to the, the, the flavor explosion in the mouth. This is wonderful. This has got an exhilarating taste. 
it's, it's not quite as fruity as this one, which this is not a bad fruity. By all means, I don't like real fruity beers. This is not a bad fruity. This is a delicious fruity. This is a real great malt flavor. With the 35 IBUs, though, it is balancing it perfectly. North Coast, you have done a magnificent job in your beer. And I don't think either one of these are going to be shared with our crew. So, thumbs up on this one. No, it's three and a half, too. It is great. These are beers I'm going to stock in my own cooler. And I don't do a whole lot of those beers. We'll see you next time in the tasting room. Oh, and I'm going to enjoy some beer. Cheers.